Hey guys, welcome back to the Crypto Advanced channel. Tonight, we'll be looking into Inati Token. What is it? What is it all about? Well, you're about to find out. So Inati Token, the ultimate undumpable token. Inati was built with state-of-the-art anti-dump technology. The dynamic buyback together with a dynamic sell tax and black hole make Inati the ultimate hyperdeflationary undumpable token. Total supply, Inari is launching with 1 trillion total supply, 60% burned, 40% into the Uniswap liquidity pool. The Inari smart contract comes with static buy fees and dynamic sell fees designed to help the price grow. The initial burn and the buyback burn fuel the black hole address. This wallet is like every other holder. It gets rewards from transactions, reducing the supply and making Inari hyper deflationary. Liquidity will be locked as soon as the token launches. Token holders are, are rewarded through a redistribution fee on every transaction. There are no bots, so various anti-bot measures are in place to prevent abuse by bots, such as a 15 second cooldown between each buy and sell. Front run bots have no power here. As everyone has seen during the buyback mania of the last few days, the buyback tokens often turn into pump and dumps. Investors use the buyback as exit liquidity and there is not much incentive for holding the token where there is not an imminent buyback on the horizon. Inari solves these issues. The dynamic buyback doesn't generate huge pumps in a short amount of time like a manual buyback does. It instead, it allows for longer, more organic and sustainable pumps. Moreover, the dynamic buyback acts as a deterrent for huge sales. Whale dumps are punished not only by the dynamic fee, but also by the buyback. After a buyback, liquidity fee will be lowered in favor of the redistribution fee. The settable fee ratio and the black hole allow for huge rewards to holders while the contract accumulates ETH to get ready for the next buyback. The buyback contract accumulates ETH from transaction fees. Whenever someone sells Inari, the buyback contract buys an amount of tokens proportional to the price impact of the sell and burns them. In previous contracts, a conventional static buyback has been used. This means the buyback does not scale with the price impact and as such, the actions of the buyback are arbitrary and disconnected from the current price action. When the buyback is activated, the Inari smart contract buys back tokens after sales for an amount proportional to the price impact of the sell. This makes Inati contract smarter. It doesn't waste funds on pointless pumps, but instead reacts dynamically. Inati's buyback mechanism allows for supercharging buybacks. This is Inati unleashing its full power. When the K variable is set to greater than one, buybacks will be further boosted by an additional multiplier. In this mode, huge sales will cause an increase in price. Whales will think, not once, not twice, but perhaps even three times before selling. And it is compatible with the MetaMask wallet, which is great. The innovative dynamic fee structure allows whales to enter and profit while benefiting the entire community. The sell fee is dynamically scaled to the sales price impact with a minimum fee of 10% and a maximum fee of 40%. As there is no limit, you will never find yourself with unrealized gains when you decide to take profit. This structure benefits both bigger and smaller players alike. Now, in terms of when renounce, automated buyback smart contracts are inefficient left to themselves. Implementing hard-coded parameters and a fixed immutable behavior leaves the protocol vulnerable to malicious attacks. Most importantly, ownership renounce severely hinders the upgradability and thus longevity of the project. This is why, just like Everize, Inati ownership will not be renounced. Keeping the ownership of the contract allows us to find an optimal buyback parameters such as project keeps growing and to prevent bad actors from exploiting the contract and draining the buyback wallet. So what can the owner actually do? They can enable and disable the buyback, set buyback parameters such as the base buyback amount or the minimum sell amount needed to trigger the buyback. Modify the base liquidity fee and the redistribution fee up to a certain limit. What can't the owner do? Well, they can't withdraw funds from the buyback contract, prevent anyone from selling or transferring their tokens, or exclude addresses from rewards or from fees. Vulnerability. So, vulnerability of the Everize protocol to bot attacks. Everize employs a static buyback protocol. 
With a buyback happening on any sell, irrespective of the amount, this means that a bot designed to fire a huge number of small sales can quickly drain the buyback contract. In order to avoid this possibility to happen, we employ a minimum trigger parameter. The cost of such an attack is variable and depends on many factors such as token price, gas price, liquidity, etc. A fixed minimum trigger that works for current conditions may become obsolete as circumstances change because this is the minimum trigger parameter and is settable at runtime by the owner. Settleable fees. So keeping the ownership of the contract allows us to vary the ratio of redistribution and liquidity fees. The liquidity fee is split between the buyback contract and the team address at a ratio of 50-50. The liquidity fee will be 20% for the first day, 14% for the second day, and 10% from then on. The redistribution fee will be 0% on the first two days and 2% from then on. With a successful launch behind us and a great community, we're actively working on making sure Inati continues to grow into the future. Check out what we've already done and what we're doing next. So feel free to check the roadmap out at your own perusal. We'll be leaving a link down beneath this video so you can take your time and not rush into it. So overall, what have we really learned from Inadi so far? Well, it's the first automated dynamic buyback ever. That buyback tokens usually turn into pump and dumps while this buyback is designed to help sustain growth organically. The supply will always decrease because the buyback burns the tokens it buys so holders will keep getting rewarded more and more and more. There's the dynamic selfie and this protocol fixes everything that was wrong with Everize. It is not vulnerable to bot attacks and all the functions the owner can call are absolutely safe. Overall, a very interesting and ambitious project. Once again, feel free to check out their official webpage linked down beneath this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell. And you can also catch up with me on my YouTube channel, Crypto Tonight on YouTube. Until next time, take care.